What's going on everybody? This is Weekly Reviews here, and today guys we're going to be checking out Trizio Remix, a game developed by Triangle Service and developed by Dejica Games. This is a shooter, bullet hell shooter style game with uh, a little bit more uh, differences compared to a lot of the other shooters I've shown off, because this one actually has a transforming uh, feature built into how you can control your ship and everything, and I'll basically describe that when uh, I show off the gameplay. So. As you can see, when you start up the game, after being, of course, the first couple stages, you'll be able to try out score attacks. Uh, there are six stages in the entire game. You also have a score and replay portion. You have it so you can change your settings for the actual Trizeal game, your display settings, your sound, and your controls. Of course, it's very, very uh, necessary for you to play this with a uh, controller than it is keyboard and mouse. Anyway, let's go ahead and jump into the game. And basically, the way that Trizeal plays differently compared to other shooters is this one has, like I said, it has a transforming uh, option. And you can be able to, as it shows right here, you have a wide transforming option, a missile, and a laser option. So, let's jump into the game. And right away, the moment you start seeing it, uh, it's going to have like a Sega Saturn kind of feel to it. And that's one of the things I like with uh, a lot of shooters that come out now. Uh, they have a real... Sega Saturn-y kind of feel to them, like just the way that the uh, the sound effects are, the music, everything. Now, as you go through the game, you'll have, just like in every other shooter, you'll have power-ups that you can collect to do more damage against your enemies. And as I said before, you can be able to transform. Now, how do you transform? Well, you do that by pressing on your B button, or you'll also be using uh, the circle button if you're using a PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 4 controller and you can go ahead and tap it again to change out to your next uh, transformation option. Now one of the things is is every single transformation uh, is different against different enemies so kinda spread them out and use them equally. Don't just try to use just one of them because some of them work better on certain types of enemies and like larger enemies, you'll have to use bigger items and bigger weapons like the laser. Like, say, this one right here is not really doing much against both of these guys. So it would be better off us using the laser against these guys. And right there, he got away too quickly because of me showing that. So there's another option in the game, which is called a breakout option. Basically what this is, is you will achieve extra points if you take out all of the enemies on screen before they're all gone off screen. Now this is kind of tricky to do, but I mean, if you're able to pull it off, uh, you'll be rewarded with a lot of extra points, and believe me, those extra points go for more continues, and just more stuff that you'll need later, so... And I just missed that, so that wasn't cool. Now also, if you go through the entire thing, you'll make it so that as you're playing, it'll start getting increasingly difficult, and I'm not talking about just a little bit difficult, I mean ridiculously difficult so at first when you're first playing it it may not look like that insanely hard but believe me shooter games are the worst kind of games you can go ahead and say that about because every shooter game I've ever played which I haven't played all of them of course because there are so many of them out there nowadays uh, and especially some really good ones not just from cave themselves but just so many other companies are starting to get in to uh, doing shooter games now again and I'm very glad that they're doing that but every game that I played as a shooter that I've never played on or have decided to give a chance they have either been increasingly difficult or just insanely difficult to the portion of where it wants you to literally almost break your controller it's like the kind of hatred that you would have for playing games like Super Meat Boy with insane difficulty and I mean precise controls and everything but just insane difficulty when taking on these bosses and just trying to get through the levels and everything now of course it, again it looks like it's so simple like the first couple bosses may seem like a cakewalk but when you start going further into the game it starts to get insane real quick especially on what difficulty you're playing on and I'm playing on normal now imagine what the bullets would be like if I tried to play this on hard. I probably wouldn't even be able to make it past the first couple screens. 
So we did pretty good on that one. We saved a couple of our bombs, and we got a fairly good size score, which brings us up to 360,180. So if you want to purchase this game, it is available on Steam as of right now. As I said, they released it about close to about two or three, four days ago, around that number. And uh, if you guys want to check out the game, though, for yourself, I really do recommend it. It is a fun game. It's got some really good soundtrack music to it. And, again, it has that kind of a Sega Saturn-ish kind of feel to it. I don't know why I'm saying that. I mean, it just kind of does, though. It has that kind of Sega feel of uh, a lot of arcade shooters. It gives a real good arcade -y feeling. And, I mean, that's one of the things I like about a good shooter game is I love to have a great, fun arcade game to play. And they're just fun to pass the time by. I mean, and they're one of those times, types of games that, again, if you've never played these kind of games, you'll get pumped up more and more because you're trying to blow through all of these levels without dying. And also, compared to a lot of other shooters i played, this one actually does not let you have uh, unlimited continues. So once you're done with those three credits, you're done. You gotta start all the way back at the beginning until you get an extend. That's the only way. And that's one of the things I actually like with uh, this game, because it makes it so that it's just so increasingly difficult that the more you keep playing it, the further you'll get. Now, I believe when I first uh, when I first played it, I only got to about the third stage because it was just insane. Again, and I'm playing this on normal, so I'm not trying to go ahead and just say like, oh my god, like I'm a noob at playing these, because these games, as I said, I haven't played every single one of them, but I'm more than just an avid gamer at playing them. But, again, if this is your type of genre to go ahead and try out, I do recommend this title. It is available on Steam as of right now. You can also, I believe, get the soundtrack with it. I think it comes with the soundtrack in one of the options. Uh, so, if you're a big fan of uh, shooters, or if you just want to try out shooters just for the hell of it, Go ahead and check out Trizeal Remix, and as well as several other games that Dedica has released with their 20XX Love Collection, which are now completely out, including other games such as Shump Testing, and I believe they're also coming out with another uh, game from Triangle Service. I believe it is the sequel to this game, Trizeal. So, anyway, thanks guys for watching. This has been Weekly Reviews showing off Trizeal Remix from Digica and Triangle Service. Until then guys, thanks again for stopping by. Feel free to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the video. And as always, take care and game on.